Oh, 2022. I don't even know where to start. The year of the side quests. Logan Paul looking to shock the world. But if those were the side quests, what was the main quest? I want to be the biggest entertainer in the universe. Be the biggest entertainer in the world. Be the greatest entertainer in the world. Become the biggest entertainer on the planet. And on the night of June 6, 2021, I felt like I made that happen. We got the power to give you a whack. Time is perfect like who need a whack. I don't want anyone to tell me anything is impossible ever again. I had waited 26 years of my life to perform on the biggest stage of them all, and it finally happened. So now what? Well, it turns out life is just a giant quest to find out who you are and what makes you happy. And what makes me happy? Hydration. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, not really, but building makes me happy. Creating makes me happy. After all, I am a YouTuber and I can't recap 2022 without mentioning Prime Hydration. We have created our own drink company. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's great. Oh yes. Right, that shit good as a mother Is this water? Wow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Yeah. The fastest growing hydration company in the world, a company birthed from violence. Let's get ready to rumble! After beating each other up twice and selling out multiple venues in cities around the world, KSI and I developed a friendship that turned into a full on industry. <laughs> Industry disruption. Whoa, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> in just the first year, Prime has done 250 million in retail sales. That's actually fing insane. I cannot believe that. 100 million bottles sold in over 30,000 retail doors in some of the biggest retailers in the world Walmart, Target, Kroger, Sam's Club, GNC, and Vitamin Shop, to name a few. We also launched another product, a powdered version of our drink, and our stick packs are actually number two in the USA. I'm coming straight out, bro. Just watch Prime in the UK. International expansion, both Canada now and of course the United Kingdom. We want Prime! We want Prime! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got pallets for all. They move different here, dude. And then somehow we became the official sports hydration partner for Arsenal. We have Prime, baby. We are hydrated to the max. And ever since Arsenal has been drinking Prime, they are first place in the Premier League and they're 12-1. and one. Drink Prime. Also, some breaking news. Prime will be getting its own Super Bowl commercial. We get a Prime. Holy sh**. The first ever YouTuber Super Bowl commercial for a product that KSI and I created. Actually f***ing insane. And we're also going to be releasing another product, Prime Energy, early next year, 2023. Oh, okay. Speaking of energy, my passion took me around the world this year. Oh my God, fantastic. Dude, that is so cool. Oh my God, it worked. Look how ridiculous this is. From sending a Polaroid to space, collaring an elephant, breaking my hand and being told I'll never be able to box again, spray painting a private jet, flying in zero gravity, 99 originals took over my life. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. For the this myth. I became so obsessed with having this Polaroid. Something about the idea of capturing a moment in time and turning it into a physical was really exciting to me. Oh! From being robbed in South Africa by a monkey. He's got prime, the monkey has prime. Which by the way is my favorite video ever. To going on the largest yacht for charter in the world. I got to experience so much life during the time I was shooting this project. Uh, you're doing great, Joshua. Woo! I've also never received such good feedback on anything I've ever created in my life. Yeah. I got to do so many cool things and meet so many cool people. And when you do that, you find out much more about yourself. And I think this year was the year that I kind of realized it's essentially who I am. And I'd like to consider myself an artist. My canvas just changes. And through those travels, I, I can't believe it. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Show and Tell. I have one Danish delight. Look, I love this girl. She is so great for me. Oh, you're a real glass guy. <laughs> She's just kind of the same person as me. You know, we f hard. <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro. I had considered myself a hopeless romantic, incapable of finding love or falling in love. Turns out I was wrong. There's hope out there for you kids. I love this girl so much. She's changed my life and she's been on this journey with me and I hope she's gonna be on it with me for a very long time to come. Love you, Nina. Damn, that was cheesy.
Am I, if I'm blushing, cut this out. However, when Nina and I started dating, there's one thing she didn't know about me, and that's uh, I'm a nerd. I actually set the Guinness World Record this year. Oh my God, bro. For the most expensive Pokemon sale ever sold at a private sale ever, $5.2 million. You are officially amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and that was balanced out by a $3 million loss when I accidentally bought a box of fake Pokemon cards. Oh my oh, God. God. Actually, they were G.I. Joe. F you, G.I. Joe. But there's still good news. I did buy something that wasn't fake this year, and that is my 66 million year old Triceratops named Dudley. Oh, what the f These things are the physical manifestation of the hard work that I've been putting in over the years, and I'm really proud of them. My house, I've been working on it for a year now, and it's looking so good. <laughs> finally have a place where I can feel refreshed and at peace. And when I want to feel the opposite and put my body through hell, I go to my warehouse that we turn into a gym. <laughs> our iron paradise, right? We put our bodies through hell and prepare for war. And this year, I got to witness Jake Paul, the person who I love most on this planet, be Anderson Silva, an idol of ours, and actually met when we were kids. What a full circle moment. And then what a plot twist. I'm a wrestler now. Ah! What the f I did not see this coming. You guys just drafted Jake Paul's brother. How do you feel? <laughs> First up, WrestleMania. Me and The Miz beat the Mysterios in front of 60,000 people. Oh! Whoa! Beautiful slam! Oh! How can you not be impressed with Logan Paul's performance? And then The Miz betrayed me. Miz, how could you? And I had to get my revenge. Enter SummerSlam. Logan, Logan. Slip and rip goes Logan Paul. Whoa. Whoa. Fire in the eyes of the Miz. Wow. Whoa. First time I went off the top rope onto the table in front of a sold out stadium in Nashville. And uh, I did end up having a little bit of a heat stroke afterwards. <laughs> But after I recovered from that, I think WWE liked my performance enough and believed in me enough as an athlete to put me against the best that they got, Roman Reigns headlining the crown jewel in saw in just roll it. Logan Paul looking to shock the world. Logan, Logan. Let's go! Logan oh, athlete, and what a clothesline! You felt that, Roman! What the hell are we witnessing, Michael? That's my guy! There was a moment that was caught a still image. This image looks like a superhero movie poster, and I can't believe it's real life. Standing boots! Hey, like that! Logan Paul's going up to the top rope. He's got a damn camera phone in his hand. I love flying high in the WWE. This is what you wanted! And I jumped off the top rope and recorded myself frog splashing Roman through the table. Fire, Logan Paul is something special. So many amazing moments, but it's really unfortunate that my fucking knee exploded. Oh! Sorry. Yeah, I tore my MCL halfway through the match, but recovery is going great and I got my own action figure. The WWE curveball is something that I did not expect, but I have absolutely fallen in love with this sport. I want to take this opportunity to give a personal thanks to the WWE and the fans for letting me into your world and allowing me to have as much fun as I have. I'm really excited for how much I can grow in the WWE, and I think I've just scratched the surface in terms of what I'm capable of. That's going to be awesome. And this year, while we were doing all of the aforementioned, we managed to somehow release one impulsive episode a week, the number one podcast in the world. And that can be statistically verified. I had no clue I was dark until I got here. I got to America. One guy told me I look like under the bed. He said, when God said, let there be light, I was out of town. <laughs> An open format where me and the boys get to talk to some of the coolest people on the planet and share the conversations with you. You've done it all. Why do you still come to the gym? For the same reason as why am I having breakfast today? I had breakfast yesterday at breakfast 10 years ago. Training is part of my life. Every zoo that I went to in the world, all the gorillas look at me and they go crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. They all come to the glass and they all do this. <laughs> <laughs>
So with all that said, the question that I'm asking myself is why was 2022 so good to me? And I think I have some answers. I found myself as a human. This sounds maybe silly, but I gained confidence in my ability to just be myself. <laughs> I also got smarter about making the right decisions and allocating my energy strategically. I learned how to say no. Your energy is your currency. And when you're constantly giving and giving and giving, how much do you have for yourself? The past version of myself worked his ass off to build the momentum that I have now. And now I get to be authentic and pursue and do the things that I love. I approached this year like a baby with open arms and everything that I had done in the past, all the trial and error had established the perfect pillars of a very strong foundation for the empire that I've wanted to build my whole life. So here are three things that I really valued this year. One, your circle and your team. Who are the people around you? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Everyone around me understands the vision that I have. They understand the mission that I'm on and they're willing to help me get there. Two, trust. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust your vision and you have to trust the process. Things do not happen overnight. Success is f***ing hard. But if you barrel down and you have an unwavering conviction in yourself and your mission, you're gonna be a really hard person to stop. And I think this is probably the most important, honesty. Honesty with yourself and with the people around you. Are you willing to learn from your past mistakes? Are you willing to receive feedback and set your ego aside for a second? And then can you capitalize on that? Can you be candid with the people around you? Can you have open and honest conversations without judgment? If the answer is yes, you're in a really good spot. I am so thankful for where I'm at in my life and for the people I have around me. I could not have done anything that I do in my life without love. I, I, I love the people I have on my team. I love my friends. I love you, the audience. You guys are so important to me in my life. And this is just a big thank you for making 2022 the best year of my life. Thank you guys.